Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss structure of page table. We have three types of structures. One is hierarchical paging. Second one is hashed page. Second one is hashed page table. Hash page table. Third one is inverted page table. Inverted page table. These are the three variations of page tables. First, we move to hierarchical paging. First, we will discuss hierarchical paging. For example, if the size of address, it's a modern computers considered the modern systems. Size of logical address space is generally varies from 2 power 30 to 2 power 64. The size of the address varies from 2 power 30 to 2 power 64 bits. So, with these sizes, suppose if a page of size 4 KB, if a size of page is 4 KB, then 4 KB means 2 power 12, then 2 power 32 by 2 power 12, approximately 1 million entries are placed in the page table. Suppose in modern systems, if a size is 32 bits and size of the page is 4 KB, approximately page table contains 1 million entries. Generally, it is very difficult to search for a particular frame in the memory. For that purpose, we are using this hierarchical concept. That is, we are paging the page table. Here, what we will do? Here, we are paging the page table. Suppose in hierarchical paging, first we will discuss two level hierarchical paging. Two level hierarchical paging. Suppose if a 32 bit logical address, a 32 bit address, a 4 KB page size. 4 KB size. So total how many number of bits? 32 bits. These 32 bits are divided into how we are dividing logical address. The logical address is divided into page number and offset. The size of logical address is 32 bits. That is, the 32 is divided into page number and offset. So, 20 plus 12. Why we are dividing 20 plus 12? The size of the page is 4 KB. The size of the page is 4 KB. That is 2 power 12. This 12 acts as offset. So, this is the page number. This is offset. So, 20 plus 10. But here our concept is a two level paging. Two level paging means we are performing paging on this particular. That is, this page number 20 is again divided into two parts 10 plus 10. This 10 acts as page number. This 10 acts as offset. Okay. See the diagram. How we will perform two level paging P1, P2, and D. What are the sizes? Here the sizes of P1 is 10, 10, 12. Here P1 is P1 points to outer page table. This is the outer page table. Suppose if an entry found in the outer page table, from this outer page table, we are searched in inner page table. This is inner page table by using P2. You got the point? Suppose in the syllabus book, in the syllabus book, all the topics are not written in the starting page. In the first page, I am mentioning chapter headings. By based on chapter heading, I am moving to some other location. At this location, all the contents present in the chapter. Suppose at that location, by using the suppose the chapter 1, chapter 1 contains this point 1.1. I am going to 1.1 for the particular content. This is the way outer page table contains the final indexes. Based on this, we are moving to inner page table by using this page 2. That is, this page 2 specifies the displacement of this page in the outer page table. By using this, this is the offset. By using this, we are moving to the particular element. This is the two-level paging system. This is a two-level paging system. 
in the similar fashion if the size increases if the size increases that is it is 32 bits this is sufficient for example if 64 bits the two level paging also leads to confusion in that situation we are moving to some three level paging scheme three level paging scheme how we are dividing suppose p1 p2 p3 and offset suppose 32 10 42 52 64 64 bits means 52 plus 12 here also the page size is 4 kb this is hierarchical paging simply the largest page table is divided into some number of tables from one table to access another table from other table to finally access the required frame number hierarchical next move to next one is hashed page hashed page table so the name specifies hashed page table means each entry in the hash table each entry in the hash table we are performing some hash operation suppose the address generated page number and offset generally why we are preferring suppose if logical address space is 32 or more than 32 we are preferring hash table suppose perform some hash function after performing hash function we are enter into hash table we are enter into hash table that is this hash value access the virtual page number whatever the virtual page number for that virtual page number i am applying hashing in dot or place in a linked list format hashing placed in a linked list format that is all the elements arranged in linked list if all the elements that points to the same memory location you got it that is the elements that are points to the same memory location are arranged in a linked list format each element consists of three parts the first part is the virtual page number the first part is the virtual page number the second part is the frame the second part is the frame associated with this page and the third one is a pointer that points to the next element a pointer that points to the next element and how how our required frame is available first our virtual page number first first our virtual page number hashing is applied that is compared with the first field if it matches occur moves to the corresponding frame if match does not occur move to the end of the list suppose this is the first position if the element is not present in this move to second element move to third element this is the hashed page table that is it makes the search operation very simple you know the concept of hashing the main purpose of hashing is simply to retrieve simply to retrieve here this makes the simple to retrieve now move to third one here the third one is inverted page table inverted page table what is the need for inverted page table so each process has a page table you know that suppose we have five process that means in our system we have five page tables each process has a page table and each page of the process has an entry each page of the process has an entry into the page table an entry into the page table how the operating system how the operating system identifies the frame internally we are reference the pages are referenced by using pages virtual address remember the point the reference to the page table are made by using pages virtual address now operating system translate these virtual address into the corresponding physical translate this virtual address into corresponding physical address suppose if it contains many number of entries it takes lot of time we have multiple number of page tables and each page table contains a million number of entries it takes 
lot of time for converting virtual address into physical address. For that purpose, we are inventing inverted page table. Here the purpose of inverted page table is in this each real entry that is each entry in the inverted page table has a virtual page number that is simply each entry has a real memory each real page each real page has a assigned some memory it contains only one page table the inverted page table means it contains the only one inverted page table one inverted page table every entry into the page table every entry into the page table makes that particular virtual address by using that virtual address we are directly moved to the we are directly moved to the physical address suppose see the diagram by it's very easy here our address is divided into up to now we have divided into two parts page number and offset here each real page has three parts one is identification process identification page number and offset this process identification is checked in the inverted page table identification is compared in the inverted page table it contains two entries you got the point up to normal page table contains the million of pages and million number of frames it is difficult to convert the virtual address into physical but here inverted page table each entry is made as a virtual number now directly by using this virtual address we are identifying the physical frame suppose i if the particular location is found if the particular id location is found this location i value and offset we are moving into the physical memory we are moving into the physical memory that is here the main point is pid this is the concept of inverted page tables thank you